Hi guys, this is Pradeep. So today we will take another topic, which is uh, again part of R2R, recurring program. So how to execute the recurring program, what is recurring entries, when we are actually uh, going to use it, right? So we will learn its configuration as well as the execution part. First, let's understand what is recurring program and when we are going to use it. So uh, for example, we are going to pay every month some entries which are or some cost which are recurring in nature. Recurring means that every month this cost will be incurred. For example, let's say your rent, insurance, right? So uh, some uh, electricity. Uh, electricity maybe I will not consider here because fixed amount. So basically here we are going to consider fixed amount. That means instead of normal, if this concept is not there, assume that there is no recurring concept. So what, what user is going to do? Every month user is going to post these entries. Let's say 10 expenditures we need to pay every month and uh, just we are going to post the voucher, a B50 or a B50L and accordingly we are going to post. So we know the cost, we know which GL account we are going to debit, what GL account we are going to credit, but same entries again and again we are going to post. So instead of that, why not we will create one recurring program so that user will just going to run the batch. So instead of posting, we know that for next six months, we know this is our cost. This is our insurance cost, this is our electricity, this is our uh, uh, rent cost or any expenditure which is fixed in nature, fixed amount. So everything is fixed. So we know that which account is going to debit, what is the debit amount, which GL account we are going to use. So instead of posting the vouchers again and again, we can create one recurring program so that user is going to just run the batch. User is not going to post any entry in the beginning itself for a particular period. We are going to create it and we will keep it every month user is just going to run the batch. So that concept is known as your recurring entries. But here one thing we have to keep in mind. So these are not certain items are not changeable. So uh, the ch uh, changeable like for example this month you have debited the GL account for insurance something next month it is a different one. So the, in that case this concept is not applicable. So you can't change the amount you can't change the posting key means the debit credit entry that also you can't change and the amount also fixed that is also not changeable. So instead of creating or instead of posting the vouchers, we can create the recurring program. So we will learn how to create the recurring program. Then I will show you how to execute this recurring program consecutively for two months. But again, same process we can go for uh, uh, every month. Now I'm in S4 system and uh, here uh, I'm going to take these two GL account 3007, which is my office rent account 3008, which is my insurance account. And by using these two GL accounts, I'm going to create one recurring document when you will practice. Similarly, you can add some GL accounts and uh, for a particular period we are going to create. So let's create that recurring, first we need to create the recurring document. So the transaction code is FBD1 and uh, through navigation it is under uh, accounting, it means easy access, then go to accounting, then go to financial accounting, then go to general ledger. It Again, it is part of R2R, so it will be part of your general ledger. Then go to your document entry, so under document entry, then go to reference documents and under reference document you are going to create one recurring document transaction code FPD1. So company code you need to specify as it is set in my profile so by default it is coming but when you practice you need to enter your company code then you are going to enter here the first rent that means uh, uh, first run date that means from what is the period from which period to which period you are creating this recurring uh, particular recurring program. Maybe you can create here one year like you know that for one year this cost and everything is same so we can, you can do that or you can take a particular period so I'm going to take this one for uh, let's say uh, up to three months I'm going to take. So it is going to start from uh, 1st April 2024 till April, May, June. Okay, so April cost, then May cost, then June cost. For three months, I'm creating this recurring document. Here, whatever you want, you can take your validity. So I'm going to take this one as 1st April 2024, then uh, last run, that means till uh, how long we are going to take. So as I said, I'm going to take this one, or let's take uh, July. So I will take here 31st, July 2024, April, May, June, July. For four months, I'm going to take this one. And how frequently we are going to, or user is going to run the particular program. So every month, once it will be executed. So I have taken here interval in months, that is one. And what will be the run date? On which date the transaction will be executed by the user? Transaction again, not will be posted just the batch run. So let's take today's date. So today is 7th, so I'm going to take today's date. So every month 7th, the recurring program will be executed by the user. So that I'm going to take run date will be 
7 then uh, run other details no need to maintain so we know that it is a gl posting so gl posting document will be essay that you need to enter then uh, if it is foreign currency translation data and all you have to maintain in my case i will create this one on inr so local currency not required then enter here the debit entry again i am reminding i am not posting any document here so after this you will not find any document posting in your table and all but just we are going to create the recurring document and by using that recurring document recurring posting will be done by user every month but user is not going to post the document uh, every month manually so posting key again we know that gl is going to debit so posting key will be 40 then which gl account we are going to use here so 3007 that we are going to consider here 3007 and 3008 that two account we are going to take so 3007 3007 this posting key will fix that can't be changeable while posting and this gl account whatever account number that also will be fixed then amount also will be fixed now let's say the amount is 4000 so every month we are paying office rent 4000 because of my configuration one cost center it is coming so that means by default the cost we will transfer to this cost center so that after that this will be part of my cost of production calculation after doing all the allocations and all so this is my first debit entry then continue so this will be my office rent expense right next debit entry again 40 then GL account so last one 3007 this one is 3008 so this one will be insurance continue then amount let's say 600 uh, this cost center also uh, same so I'm taking here that this is our insurance then coming to like this you keep adding different GL accounts for your entries or for your debit entries then after that we are going to enter here the credit amount so posting key 50 then which GL account your bank payable whatever you want you can take here so I will take here the uh, okay I, I don't have here a bank account so I'm just using this cash account for the posting purpose so that I've selected so this account will be credited then continue so whatever my debit the total will be my credit so this is my payment screens or payment line okay and I'm going to just normally what we are doing we are posting it when, when we are going to post save this one the document will be posted now I'm going to do this just observe carefully what message you are going to get done so message here you can see the document is not posted the document you can see here okay so the document message I can see here the document was stored in the company code right so whatever the document is there that I want to see here right but before that let me check whether any entry we have in this GL account or not 3007 and 3008 so do we have any entry so right now I'm in FBL 3N and I want to check my GL entry or any document posted or not so here I can see that there is no document no informations are there so document informations are not there means document is not yet posted but as I entered some information in the system so somewhere something must be updated right so that lets verify so I want to see how many recurring documents are there it's not like in reality one document will be there many recurring documents or many recurring programs will be created by uh, different uh, team so there they have created I want to see those recurring programs transaction code f.15 so this is last time we posted the entries or we create we have created the recurring document now we want to check it so it is f.15 transaction code and it will be part of periodic processing let me show you through navigation also f.15 so this one will be part of same process so it will be same general ledger then go to periodic processing so under periodic processing go to recurring entries under recurring entries here you can see the list then after that we will come to this execution now coming to this list okay if you know the document number you can enter it but in, it is the first document I entered here and recurring program you can create it for GL for customer for vendor it can be anything just execute now this is the document just now which I created so here also we got one document document number 50,000 this document number is 50,000 so these are my GL accounts which we are going to use here this account numbers are fixed if you want to change anything not possible you may delete it and after that you can create it but change is not possible these amounts are also fixed and these posting keys are fixed 
okay so this document is created now by using this recurring document i am going to create a recurring program i will not post it i will just create a recurring program so then execute it f.14 even if you will just create a recurring program then till the time it's not executed you will not get the document posting also so enter here the recurring program we will execute so select your company code you need to specify your document number but as it is only one document i have so no need to maintain anything otherwise you can search by the document number then enter here the document type right posting data and all everything not required already we maintain this parameter important here is you have to give here the settle periods like what is the validity what is the range like how frequently we are going to run that already we configured but uh, like i want to run it every month or user is going to run the batch every month on which date that you are going to define so in our configuration we define that it will be on 7th so i'm going to take here 7th 4 april to march uh, sorry uh, april may june july we are going to take so 7th april 2024 till 7th every month 7th 7th july so 7th 7th 2024 so here i have not taken the month and range because here i am not taking the validity it's just we are going to enter here that what will be the date render so that means it will be executed on 7th april it will be 7th may 7th although right now we are in june but i will show you the backdated entry just for demonstration purpose so 7th april then 7th may then 7th june like this will be there then create one batch here okay so create one batch here so let's say z8 z8 recurring anything enter you can so uh, now i'm going to execute it execute so recurring uh, program create recurring batch created then we are going to execute it so you can go to sm35 and you can execute there or you can go to system then go to services then go to your batch input and check here how many sessions we have so this is our first session which is uh, this is our session the first one is there so we have not yet executed even just you have created a batch you will not find the accounting entries right now even I, if i want to see you will not find the posting it's just batch created it's not yet posted for that we have to execute it and this is the only activity which user is going to perform this one for the to get the accounting entries so select it and process it if any error we will check process so there is no error document posted now let's see which document is posted okay i have not while executing i have not selected anything just i selected uh, i selected that batch and executed now you can see which entry is there now you can see these entries are there so that means for the month of what is the let me add here posting date So as for our program, this is the 7th April entry posted. Make sure that when you are practicing, if you are going to configure it now, then make sure that previous period should be open. If exactly you are going to take the same uh, like me, otherwise if you are going to create from today, then next three, four months you can take. That means from June onwards you can take. It's very normal like when you are going to post any document, that period should be entered. Now as for my configuration, I have selected that every month 7th, batch will be executed and we are going to have the accounting document now you can see without doing anything just the last step i selected the batch and i posted it that's it okay now assume that we are in the month of april posted now we are in the month of may so in the may month again i'm not going to post any document if a normal process what we we can do here if it is a normal process then i will go to a b50l here i need to select my GL account, which GL account need to be debited, which GL account, all the line items, credit, everything is required. But here nothing is required. Simply I know that there is a batch already created. So I'm going to select that particular batch and I'm going to process it. Now uh, I'm in next month, for example, May. So I will not post anything. I will not post any voucher, anything. Simply I'm just going to come to the batch. I will select this batch, which I created there. And I'm going to select and I will process. refresh now second month entry posted here you can uh, see what is the document date if i will add the posting date okay 
okay so every month just user is going to check the batch and it will be executed so instead of posting the document again and again you can create a recurring program and user is going to post it so it is one recurring activity closing activity you can say it is part of actually closing process so all the recurring entries need to be executed by the respective team by this process so here we saved the posting time here we uh, and uh, like initially we have created one recurring document as per our need then after that we have created the batch then the last step execution the respective user is just going to select the batch and going to similarly in Ju june i will select the batch and i will post it july i will select the batch and i will post anytime let's say we realize that there is some modification is required we can delete that recurring document and we can create another recurring uh, doc uh, document and we can create the batch according it's a very simple process but uh, part of our to our team so how today we learn how to create a recurring document how to create one batch and how to execute that execute that batch so i hope you got some clarity any question feel free to add in the comments or you can mail me uh, we will see another scenario very soon. Sure. thank you